So when it comes to watchOS updates, I'll be happy to let you know that today we have the next point update. It's not the big one just yet. The big one is just around the corner, but this one is a positive one and it has some things to offer. So let's look at it. This is my Apple Watch Ultra that you're seeing here. And I just got the notification here. So you can see if I pull down this, you can see watchOS 9.5 is available and can be installed. So if I click on this, I can go down and choose details and we'll be able to get more information about watchOS 9.5. So we'll click OK and then we'll go into the settings, go to general and general and then go to where it says software update so that we are able to get the update size and you can see watchOS 9.5. And for me, this update comes in at 311 megabytes. This is a relatively small file. And the reason for this is because I'm actually updating to watchOS 9.5 for the first time. I'm coming from watchOS 9.4. So if you're already on the beta of watchOS 9.5, then maybe you will be able to see a smaller size compared to what I have here. So some other updates that are going to be released alongside these include iOS 16.5. As you can see there, that will also include iPad OS 16.5, tvOS 16.5 and Mac OS 13.4. And most of those updates I'm going to be covering here on the channel. So if you want to stay up to date and get to know what's new with those, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. So my watch has literally just finished updating. That took about 12 to 15 minutes. And you can see here if I was to go into settings and now go to general and go to software update, you see that I'm up to date. And if I go to the about, you can see we are now on watchOS 9.5. And the version or build number that we have here is 20T562. So that is the build number that's here with watchOS 9.5. Now let's look at some of those new features and new changes that this update has to offer. The first one, if I was to hold into or go into the watch finder selector here and then add, you can see here in the middle section, we have a new watch face. And if we select there, you'll be able to see that we have the pride celebration watch face. This is a new one that has been released by Apple and there's going to be an associated band that's going to be released alongside this that you can purchase once this update is out. And you can see when we add this to our watch face here, you can customize this according to how you need. So background, you can have it on or you can have the background off. I think off looks good or either way, you know, you can set it how you want. So background and then we have the style that we can change. So you can see our marks. We can have numerical. OK, those and then we have motions. I think motion is the one that's cooler. So we we'll leave it on motion. And then we have complications that you can add as well. Now, when it comes to watches like this, I like to keep it as plain as possible. And that's basically most of the changes that we can add to this watch face and you can see that these items are rotating clockwise in a sense and when I lower my risk which is equivalent to this or spin the crown here it really doesn't do much maybe let me go like this and then come back up yeah it comes back to life just spinning around slowly as you can see here now like i mentioned there's going to be an associated band that you can purchase on apple's site to go alongside this but you, if i was to show you on my iphone that has been updated to ios 16.5 you also get to see some of the other cool things that you can do alongside this so if we go to our wallpaper section here so you hold and then you go to add new wallpaper if you go down to the pride section here you can see we have this pride uh, wallpaper that has been added to just like be able to complement this and you can see here if we were to add this you can also be able to customize this as you wish when it comes to the iPhone so we'll set as a pair for both the 
home page and we, when we select it like this and lock our iPhone, you can see how it looks. And then when you unlock, it also does the circular motion like the Apple Watch is doing. And also when you bring down your notification section here, you can see it sort of rewinds back. Then when you swipe back up, that is how it's looking here on the iPhone. So it's pretty cool. And you can see this goes hand in hand with what we have here on this watchOS update. This is how they look side to side. I wonder if I was to put my iPhone into dark mode and see how this wallpaper looks. So yeah, this is how dark mode looks. And uh, this is how it is on the Apple Watch without the background. I'll raise it up again so that they begin to move. And you can see the match is pretty good. And if you get the band as well, you have a triple match as you have more items that are matching. So for now, this is how it looks. Do you like it? Do you let me know in the comment section below. But when it comes to watchOS 9.5, the changes that are here continue. So when it comes to the Apple Watch I, uh, application here, I'll just open it here and you can see when you go to general and you go to software update this has been updated with watchOS 9.5 you can see the screen here it now has uh, updates which are beta updates that you can select depending on your Apple ID this is my Apple ID so I'm enrolled into the developer beta so you can see here it mentions developer beta if you're enrolled into the public beta you can select this or like if you're like me and you pay for the developer profile, you can select it there. And then instead of needing a profile to be able to update future beta updates like watchOS 9.6 beta 1 or watchOS uh, 10, which is coming pretty soon on June 5th, then Apple won't authenticate your account based on a developer profile. It would authenticate your account based on your Apple ID that's being used to try and download this beta profile. This definitely does cover some loopholes that were being exploited before by people who were getting like developer or public beta profiles from third party sites, which at times were not safe. But this makes it easier for people that pay for profiles to be able to update to future and beta uh, updates like watchOS 10 because it's now associated with your Apple ID. Now, according to Apple, when it comes to this watchOS 9.5 update, you know, they didn't really mention much. They actually did mention that this update has some security and stability improvements. So if we were to go to the um, Apple security page, if you want, you can always visit this website and you'll be able to see that watchOS 9.5 has been updated to this page too. And it's an update that's here to add a few, not major, since most of the major changes I, in my opinion, I feel they are being reserved for watchOS 10. It adds a new watch face and it also changes the way we are able to interact with Apple beta updates starting with watchOS 9.6 or watchOS 10 going beyond. So this is my update of it in terms of my battery or how I've been using this update. You know, I haven't really had enough time. So maybe after two or three days, I'll be able to tweet or say how this has been affecting my device. But for now, in case you are curious how my battery is holding up on the amazing Apple Watch Ultra, you can see here if I go to my battery health, it's still on nine on 100 percent so that's a perfect score after many many months of doing beta testing with the previous apple watch series 7 that i was using before i jumped onto the ultra by now this would have been like on 98 or something like that so this apple watch ultra has been amazing and with watchOS 9.6 which i've just updated to this is something that's a good combination for now. A quick note for those that are having issues out there updating their devices from watchOS 9.4 to the new released watchOS 9.5. What I would suggest you do first is to upgrade your iOS device to the latest iOS version, which as this time is iOS 16.5 and then try and update your Apple Watch. If you are coming from the beta of watchOS 9.5 or watchOS 9.4 and you are having issues upgrading to this, 
after updating your iPhone, then what I also suggest you do, since you now have the option on your iPhone to be able to change those settings by selecting the developer or the public beta, change it to the public beta, try look for the update. If you don't see it again, uh, put the profile or the beta updates off, restart your device and then look again and you should be able to see this update. If you play around with that developer public beta profile section, that will be able to give you the update. At first, a number of people were having issues finding and being able to update. But after many attempts, that is what we are able to recommend at this time. So let's talk about the big update for WatchOS that's just around the corner that everyone is going to care about. So right now we are just mid of May and you can see here just about a few weeks away on June 5th, that is when WWDC 2023 is going to take place and that is when we'll be getting the first developer beta of watchOS 10. I'll be covering it right here on the channel at Half Men Half Tech and I'll also be covering the new iOS 17, the new Mac OS 14 and many more. So if those are updates that you want to be able to follow along and know what to expect for the new cycle of the watchOS update and others, then definitely do hit subscribe and follow along and feel free to check out some other update videos that I did for the recent recently released Apple updates. Now, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.